Okay, we're live. Hey, everybody. Dion here, owner and artist at the Turquoise Cyrus. It's time for a paint talk. It is Sunday night, 8.30 Central Time, which means it's time for my favorite how-to paint show. Uh, this is day three, working on this furniture piece. This area right here is going to look a little bit like a mess for just a little while. Just hang tight with me. Um, Matthew, are you here? Mm -hmm. Are we up and running on YouTube and Facebook? Mm -hmm. I can't find anything. Oh, yeah, there you are. We're up now? Okay. So, hey, everybody. Hi, Lori. Happy Sunday to all of you guys. Um, we are picking up where we left off last night on this piece. You can see from looking at the blue that I actually went a little bit further and worked on it a little bit more on my own. Uh, after we got off the live, but I added in some pink acrylic and some more yellows and used my mop brush to add in all of those layers. So if you are new and haven't seen this yet, this right here is my inspiration for um, the look that I'm trying to give the front of the piece of furniture. So hi, Aspen. Hi, Miss. Um, so this is my painting and I want to transfer this image basically onto the front of this because it's shaped the same. And this cabinet is one I'm redoing. I did it in a um, in my Creative Connection and it didn't sell several months ago and I thought let's give it a new look. This matched this piece. I loved these paintings, the Soul Sisters, and so I decided let's try that. So right now I have my blues up top, my reds and corals, and my deep purples on the bottom and now I want to start filling it in and building layers of flowers which might take a few episodes as well as wrapping it along the side. Jeanette Major wants to know are you bringing any brushes to sell in Texas? Oh I haven't even thought about that Jeanette. Uh, Finny Groom, when will the pro brushes be out so we can get that mop brush? They're uh, available right now on my website, and they um, they will ship very, very soon. Um, you can go to the turquoiseiris.com under tools, and the mop brush is there. I've actually sold quite a few the other night um, when we were on here. Um, Tanette, let me think about that, because uh, in your swag bag, you will actually be receiving two of my brushes. Um, so, hey... Thanks, Mom. I hope I can. I love the painting so much. I just kind of want to transfer the image on here. So that's my plan. That's going to look like a total hot and crazy mess for a little while. Um, but of course, I'm just going to kind of work some color into the midsection of my DIY right now. I'm using Monet's Garden and Aviary Fancy Farm Girl and some Bohemian Blue. And then I'll grab my mop brush and I have some fluorescent yellow and some burnt umber and a lime green that I'm gonna start working on too. So I'll start working on my greens. I'm gonna end up wrapping them around the sides and then start filling in with the ivory and the blue flowers. I don't know if you can see that really well, but that's my plan. Um, I'm really happy with the way the bottom of this piece is turning out so far. I'll probably be adding in some black wax and some oil pastels as well. What's everybody else been up to? I tried my hardest to not work today. I did, I did pretty good not working, right Matt? We've had several people on tubes and on Facebook wanting to know when in the world are you going to Texas and what is going on? Oh, well, in my Creative Connection about a year and a half ago, um, I sold tickets to a retreat. And the retreat's actually getting ready to happen. So we're going to Waco. Um, it's it's for It was exclusive for the members of my Creative Connection, and it's a retreat Monday through Thursday, I have speakers like Debbie Beard coming. I have the IOD sisters, Sally and Josie of Iron Orchid Designs. They're actually coming. Um, Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out is coming. I'm teaching. Um, and I have several other teachers that are coming to make it a really, really great time. Talk business. Have fun. Michelle's on here. So if you guys need any links for any things, uh, let me know because she is here to help. So right now, I'm just kind of getting a a spread of color on there. So we do have um, a day planned for Magnolia. So for the ladies that are coming, we're gonna we're gonna go straight to Magnolia and get that out of our system on Tuesday. And so this is Bohemian Blue, Monet's Garden. Marlis Dean Walker. She says, look out, Waco. Here we come. Here we go, Marlis. That's right, girl. I can't wait to see you and spend the week with you. Is Derek Carlton coming down to Waco? 
Derek Carlton? Yeah. No. Derek's not gonna make it, huh? It's. I was gonna say I would go if Derek's gonna be there. I think it's members of the Creative Connection. Or Rob. Rob, they're not in the Creative well, Connection. Well, you know, make special, you know, kind of condition, you know. You think they want to hang out for a week with I a bunch of women? I think they love to hang out and learn and do things. Well, Mr. Know. Woods, why are you hanging out with us I all just, week? Then? I don't want to steal the show. I've talked about this a thousand times. I find down there, it's just like, oh, it's Matt, it's Matt. And it's not with, where's the other? Oh, it's okay, she's over there. Matt's over here. Yeah, let's go over here to Matt. You know, it's, yeah. I don't want to be a distraction. Well, thank you for thinking of us, honey. And thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> It's so thoughtful. You guys, right now, I'm just spreading out the green all over this piece, um, getting some layers of color right here in the middle. I'm going to have them kind of cascading down the front of this piece into the red as well. What do you think, Matt? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking I may actually, I'm just kind of using my fingers so it's real soft and blended in, but then I'm going to grab some brushes here in a minute. Uh, Robin would like to know if you're going to do any type of uh, videoing or filming in winter. Oh, no, 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 no. It's totally an exclusive event. These, uh, the women have, have paid a ticket. And so I will do like a, maybe a, hey, we're here. Wave. Here's this place. That's right, Cheyenne. And then we'll shut her down. So it'll be, oh, as far as the teachings and everything, it'll be totally exclusive to just uh, the ladies at the group. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cheyenne Lunsford. So, Hi, Cheyenne. She said so much arm candy, not enough to go around. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, Cheyenne, look at you, girl. Uh, uh, Lisa Dixon says Matt can't go. He would break the retreat like he would break the internet. That That's is his, a fact, Lisa. Thank That's you. his story, and he's sticking to it. He would break the interwebs if he were to hang out. Sometimes when I get on on the line, I break it. Yeah, you break it. I break the because you don't know how to use it. That's why. <laughs> I'm feeling good just to find your your. your I know. Page. Just now, I'm like, are you on the right page? Do you know what you're doing? Like, you know, I bring the computer in here and set it up for him, but he has to log on and and get on there. So he's not. It's not that he's not savvy with computers. Trust me, he taught me computers in high school. I struggled with computers, but Matt was the one that helped me there. Yep. Yeah. We need your Pennsylvania, honey. Uh. I'm not sure Pennsylvania, but I, I visited a little town in Pennsylvania called Allentown. Yeah. And we were near Allentown. Well, we were so close last December when we were in Ohio. We had a lot of women from Pennsylvania come to the workshop. Oh my gosh, Kathy Cooper, wonderful. What? She said Matt and Chip together. Are you kidding me? That would be like, that would be the epitome of, epitome of, Chef. Of insanity is of what that would fantasticness, be. Fantasticness, if that's a word. If it's not, it should be. <laughs> All right. We got Val Ward in the house tonight. Oh, Val's here. Everybody, I hope you had a great Sunday. We were on last night and we revealed our spread love giveaway. Uh, Anissa and I came on and Anissa showed the painting. She added a beautiful Josie Ann to our Sedona sunset and uh, we'll be shipping that to Miss Josie very, very soon. He, she and Mr. Pixie will be the recipients of that gorgeous painting. I'm proud to say I participated in. Um, it's Janet from another planet is in the house. She says, Dion, I received the painting and I adore it. Oh, Janet got her painting, Matthew. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I guess he packed it all right then, right, Janet? Uh, Ken Dudley has a question. Sounds like a pretty important question. Okay. Uh, Dion, will you have other retreats this year for us newbies to go to a retreat? Well, I won't have it this year, but I'm planning on doing one a year. That was my whole original plan for the Creative Connection, to offer it to them first. I don't offer it to the, the, the general public just because I want to give them first dibs. So Pam, I know you're new, uh, but like I said, I sold tickets to this almost a year and a half ago and we're actually finally just getting ready to do it because it was supposed to be in June um, and I gave everybody pr plenty, plenty of warning. So the goal is to do one every single year. Absolutely. Um, probably in a different place. Um, but I don't know. It, it may turn out really well. It may turn out where we just need to do this in annually and, and we'll see about that. But um, I definitely would like to do another one, Pam, um, but it will be 2021. Uh, Marlis L. Dean Walker, she says, uh, Matt, Matt, 
Tell Dion about the chocolates. Okay. Uh, she had made a comment earlier about she had found a brand new chocolate store opened up in Waco. Oh. She thinks that you may ought to visit and stock up on some chocolate. Oh, wow. A brand new chocolate store. Is it, hopefully it's downtown where we're going to be um, near Waco or near Magnolia, girl. They have a cupcake store. Now, I've, Holden and I found the cupcake store one day when we were waiting on Matt and Holden or Elijah at a ball game. We found the cupcake store. They have an old timey uh, candy store there as well. You guys all been there? Anybody find the candy store? Holden, Holden wanted to check that out. I'm not. I'm not much in it, but I did get a cupcake and get one for Matt and Elijah to take it home to them. It's funny because I wouldn't lay, I wouldn't wait in the line at the Magnolia store for the cupcakes, but I was more than happy to go to this cupcake store around the corner and buy. Them. All right, I think I think Luann Hake. Hi, Luann. She is saying Pitt, Pittsburgh is a cool town for a retreat. FYI. Okay, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Put she's putting it in her. For two cents, right? <laughs> Robin, Robin on YouTube says, you know, West Michigan is beautiful with lots of uh, RC uh, communities. Hint, hint. <laughs> well, I am so, I'm totally open to suggestions. You know me, though, guys, I'm kind of thinking near the water. Next time, I might want to go m more near the beach. Um, you know, maybe, maybe. Florida. We'll I don't know. But you know what? The place at Waco that we're staying at, is so nice it's so casual and Pretty quaint awesome, yeah. she's just built these two huge awnings um outside and so if the weather is perfect the way that it's supposed to be in the end of october um we should be able to spend lots of time outside around the pool uh rob is uh i think he is uh, he's on the he's holding the san antonio he's holding flag. it mm -hmm. yep, yep. He wants, he's he represent, that, yeah yeah he's representing represent river walk is awesome which is really cool yes Yep, it is. Matt and I went there when we were 19, didn't we, babe? We did. We had a nice little trip down there. I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of the drive. And we wouldn't do that again because we we were there for like well, two days and turned around and came back for that drive. Like we were like. Well, it's almost like, okay, we're in San Antonio. Let's just go to the beach. <laughs> we're another two hours away. Right. Let's just go to the beach. Right. But yeah, San Antonio's. Uh, so yeah, we, we went to the Alamo, Alamo yeah. and we went to SeaWorld. And that's what I like. I love the history. I think that's really cool. But I love your you love your suggestions, everybody. But yeah, we're gonna do this every every year. I I I'm gonna change it up a little bit next time, but um I love my speakers that are coming and Michelle Sells, who I did the podcast with, she's the one that made Little Miss Iris, my puppets. She's coming and she's speaking and uh, Q and I will be working on furniture together. We'll be doing artwork. Um, Miss Llewellyn, uh, Warren to Whimsy, Llewellyn Crastive, she is actually coming. Um, and she's going to be painting on canvas as well as a lucky person from the audience. <laughs> so what 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 are you doing? I mean, you you're still doing more backdrop before you had the flowers. What's What's going on right now? Do you know what I'm doing, Matt? I don't have a clue. That's why I'm asking. Did you do you realize this is I've shown it a few times? No, no, no. I know what the end result's gonna look like. I'm asking what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm creating more um color, like shadowing before I grab my brush. I want it just more, you know, impressionist, like soft, blended, and then I'm gonna load it up with a brush here in a minute. Gotcha. I've got some acrylic, I have a bright yellow, I have um burnt sienna, and then I have a lime green. And I'm going to start throwing in, but we got to get this all set up before we throw in our flowers. So I just kind of want a variety and I want it to kind of look like that. That's my plan. And you know, it's just, it's just paint. So we're just getting in there and going for it. Um, those of you that are on Instagram and YouTube, or excuse me, Facebook and YouTube, I want to show you the bottom in case you haven't seen the picture. So you see, I'm trying to emulate this just a little bit with the yellow and the oranges down there at the bottom. And then of course I want to wrap it around the sides. This piece is one that I've already worked on, but I did it in my creative connection and um, I worked with IOD stamps and it didn't sell. And so I got tired of looking at it in the garage and thought, bam, I know what I'm going to do. Bam, bam, like bam, bam. I know what, what I'm going to do. Like... And so I'm going to grab my mop brush teaser 
teasing me. Teasing you me. are teasing me. Okay. Ooh, Aspen Staples Windler. Yes, Aspen. Hey, girl. She says the San Juan Islands in Washington would be great place for a retreat. You can see some wells. Oh my goodness. Now that is awful tempting. She's selling. See how she's selling the place. Well, she's, she's she's got that salesman picture. She didn't say too much, but she's set it up to really get my attention. <laughs> well, Santa Cruz has also been a place that's been highly suggested that we do our next one. Santa Cruz. Um, there's a place there that's right by the ocean. But I like that idea, Aspen, honey. I'm very appreciative. Honey, you saw Aspen's picture the other day. I did? Yes. Okay. Do you remember? Nope. I were in the kitchen and I okay. showed you a couple of things that have to do with something that's going on recently. And I was like, isn't she cute? Mm. You don't remember. Doesn't ring any bells, but I'm sure I probably will if well, you show me the picture. Again. I'm just trying not to give away much. But anyway, um, and Aspen always dresses up okay. the dogs. Rob, Rob may, may have got the prize. Uh-oh. Heck, just make it a cruise for creatives. That's kind of big league right there. Who's going to go on a cruise? Think about it. You could go to the Bahamas. You could go to all the yeah, I can't place. bring anything with me. I can't bring furniture. I have to go. Uh, I have to be somewhere I can drive. All right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I need to be somewhere I can drive. If I'm going to uh, bring my car. I have my car. My car will be loaded down. Michelle and I are going to be like, Loading stuff up on top of the car and everything. Yeah. By the way, I need you to get the top car thingy. Oh, you think you're going to need it? I think I'm going to need the thing for the top of the car. What's the top car thingy? I have to see the piece Michelle's bringing me first. I have to see the sides. The, the top car thingy? The top car thingy. I'm having so much fun. I know it looks like a crazy mess, but guys, we're going to pull it together. I promise you. I'm having a Did lot of fun with this. pull down the camera just a little bit? That would be phenomenal. Is that better? Um, I'm waiting for the video to catch up. So I'm using the mop brush to lightly dust some acrylic over my DIY so it doesn't pull the color underneath off. Yes, that's the camera's much better. So tomorrow, guys, 8.30 Central Time, please tune in. Tell all your friends. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to sit down at the computer. I'm actually going to share my screen and show you the cover of the first issue of the Turquoise Irish Journal. And it's a piece that I've done and I didn't, and I haven't showed anybody. I haven't showed you guys. I started working on it. Um, I've named it. I've done a video on YouTube and told the story behind it, where I got the piece and what the story is behind it, how I named it and all of the above. And I just, I am so excited. Matt brought champagne. So now, are, are we using a mixture of DIY and acrylics at this point? Um, so I finger painted with all DIY. I put Fancy Farm Girl, Monet's Garden, Aviary, and Bohemian Blue. And now I'm using the yellow, the burnt umber, and the lime green. Which and is acrylics. Acrylic. Okay. Yeah. I just was wanted to make sure for our viewing audience no problem i will tell you four times if i have to i'm gonna tell you a third time if i need to because i know people are just popping on it's no problem at all derek is looking forward to seeing the cover derek i got i i had the privilege of viewing and not only do i have the privilege of living with the piece but i had the privilege of oh yeah we're keeping the piece. Keeping the piece or seeing it painted, so forth and so on. But I I have I have seen the the cover page. And I must say, I'm not impressed very easily, but this thing impressed me. Thank you, honey. It did. I the was the piece of furniture or the magazine? Because you saw the whole magazine. The, I did. I got to see the whole magazine. Sorry guys. Yeah. But I was I, I didn't know. See, that's the problem. Because I didn't really know what to expect. I, it's kind of one of those things where you, you have an idea in your head, but you're not real sure. Right. You know, and then I, 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 I was looking at this magazine. I was like, okay, wow, I get it. Pretty sweet. He said, he, you know what he said to me? You guys didn't charge enough. 
I actually, ever, I actually did say that because there's so much to this thing. <laughs> there's a lot in there, 72 pages even. And um, yeah, we, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just our contributors gave us so much information and there were so many clickable links and videos and um, well, it's just, it's a, it's beautiful, and I'm not even trying to promote it. I just am being honest with you. Hey, Lolly, thank you. It is, it is. I, I told Dion. I said, you know, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to uh, turn this into a paper magazine, and and uh, yeah, he did. And and to keep the first issue in paper, you know, uh, somewhat. I'm somewhat nostalgic that way, so. Yeah, he wanted to print the first issue, which we can do that, babe. We can print it. Um, anybody can print the pages from their email or whatever and print it on nice paper and then kind of bind it. Have you could go to go to the FedEx store, or EPS store, baby, and have it bound for me if you if you would be so kind. I would love you forever. I, I, mean, I might be a Christmas present. Thank you, Michelle says it's fantastic. She uh, she is of course part of the team, so she has also seen it. Okay, so I'm just busting out my acrylic right now because since this is our goal, we're just going to get all the colors on there and then we can start trying to make this look like flowers around the front. <laughs> Lolly Lolly says, I thought you'd have gotten the first issue put together for her. Yeah, how about that? Sorry, sorry, Lolly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I did just kind of came to him when he saw it and he was like, oh. Wow. Lisa Dixon, I'm the same way you are. She says, I've never read an online magazine. I'm excited to see how that works. Really? So, That's interesting yeah. because I've had, like, I think the first digital magazine I subscribed to was probably six to eight years ago. And now I have subscribed to three of them for years. And they're all home interior decor. I have Adore magazine. I have Domino. Like, I love them because I like that I can click links. I don't have to put anything down. I just, like, for example, You'll see the cover piece and in pink words, it will say to hear about this piece and the story behind it, click here. You can just click it and it takes you where you need to go. You don't have to put your put your phone down or put your magazine down and actually go look for those things. So everything is right at your fingertips. And if you actually saw something um, that you wanted to purchase or something, you have it all right there. You don't have to put it down and come back to it later or try to go through and find it in the magazine. So it will, you can log in. You can log in under the turquoisecirusjournal.com. That's the website. You'll log in, you'll have your own portal. So you can look at all of the past magazine issues and um, you can buy, you know, if someone were like, oh, I've never heard of this. And they, they came in on the January issue, but they wanted to buy the October issue. They could actually go back and buy the October issue. So. Uh, it's way more functional and, um, well, I just think you guys are really going to like it. And this is the way that, this way we reach more people all over the world. Uh, guess who's in the house tonight? Um, uh, Miss Heather Watson. Hey, Heather, we was just talking all kinds of fun stuff. We've got the pop in the champagne tomorrow. I'm going to have Cami on, my editor. I'm so proud of her. Um, have a surprise for her as well and then um hope you all can join us tomorrow if you can't of course you know you can catch that replay we have um a betty and rebecca both said it's great for the environment as well absolutely absolutely thank you for that reminder as well okay so i'm gonna put a big explosion of green down there an explosion an explosion but i want a different color that i haven't used before so as I'm looking at this, um, I think I'm going to actually get some sandy blonde. Um, Lisa Dixon has a, a good question. All right, Lisa Green. She says, so to access it, we go to the website, question mark? You go to the website and log in, in the portal, or or Friday it'll be emailed to you. It's going to come straight into your inbox, and will you just download it from issues, there. Will all new issues be emailed out? Yeah. Okay. All of the new issues will be emailed. And then you will be able to go that way, click it that way, um, or you can go into your own portal that will be your account into the website. Um, so I think it'll be super fun. And of course, 
you can always check with us if you have any questions, if you're having trouble or anything. Well, this is a super nice thing to say. Debbie Winters Collins. Okay. She says, you two would be really cool slash fun neighbors. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I actually pride myself on being a pretty good neighbor. All Everywhere I've lived, I've always made sure I... We've I know my neighbors. Been, yeah, um, been fantastic neighbors. We've Literally always very been very lucky, but I, I kind of, you know, I've been that the one that would go and water the flowers, or while you're out of town, or fill your bird feeder, or water your strawberries, or you know, it was that was me. I was always really, really good. I was um, a good neighbor. I'm proud of that. Robin, uh, she would like to know how do we, how do you, how does one purchase the magazine? You go to the turquoisecyrusjournal.com. It's going to be out on Friday, the first issue, and it's one of those where I wanted to under-promise and over-deliver, and I feel very confident that that's what we've done. <laughs> For um, sure. You can get a, a single issue or the annual, which will give you four issues. Well, it also, Lolly brings up, uh, answered, uh, Robin, she said, I'm sure it will be linked on her Facebook, journal Facebook site, too. Oh, Is yeah. It? Okay. Yeah, it's on the journal. Nice you job, can go Lolly, to Lolly. Facebook, you can go to Instagram, it's on there. We got uh, Llewellyn is in the house along with a passionate pigment. Hey Hello. girls, couple of ladies I'm gonna see in a couple of weeks. Llewellyn, I was just telling everybody that um, you are going to be one of our instructors in Waco in two weeks. She's gonna be doing that, that, that finger painting? Lou, I don't know if Llewellyn's gonna finger paint. All right. She might use her brushes, babe, but um, I'm excited, and uh, she's she's filling in for me. Uh, Laura Nevada Nut. Question: Does the payment for the mag be on recurring? Yes, you can stop it at any time, but it's set up to be recurring. If you do the annual or the individual, it is recurring. Uh, Paulette Rangel, she says, I'm here, just not talking tonight. Well, that's quite all right, Paulette. Thank you for being here. Paulette, thanks for being here, dear. I hope you're doing well. Jamie Parsi, hi, y'all. She, she spelled y'all, too. She must be an OG. <laughs> or Texas. She might be a Texan. Not sure. Okay. I am just loving this. Are you having fun with this? I am having so much fun. I'm going to pull you guys in just a little bit closer on YouTube and Facebook. Instagram always gets the better picture because it's vertical. Um, Denise Reynolds. She says, Good evening. Whoopsies. Oh, right. Yep, I'm good. Good evening. Good evening from Western Colorado. Oh my stars. So it's a it's a it's a mess right now, but if you go down to the bottom, you can kind of see this is my inspiration area. This is the painting. So I'm projecting that image <laughs> onto this piece of furniture. Now we'll sand, we'll add wax. It won't be quite so stark. It's gonna have um wax over it and antiqued a little bit but i'm loving this area right here i gotta say this deep turquoise gets me every time so you can see i've got some of that fluorescent yellow up here it might not make sense to you guys but when we pull it all together i hope that it will if it doesn't well maybe maybe next time Oh, <laughs> Jane, Jane, Janie is from New York, okay, but she just loves saying y'all. She loves well, saying y'all. She saved that for us. She is, she's being converted. She saved her y'all for us. Um, uh, Thank Joanne you, Arnold, she says, Thank hi you. from the UK. We got Gavin is in the house, guys. Gavin has walked through the door and he is saying hello to everybody. Hello. Gavin left a very funny comment on my Instagram tonight, which made me really giggle. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put some more of that Sandy Blonde in. Like I said, I'm working on getting that onto here. I first got it, gave it because I was painting over a finish before. So I started with old school for a clean slate. 
I started bringing in cherry picked and from the bottom up because um, I wanted this top flower, the top area of these flowers to really just kind of cascade over the deeper reds and oranges. Uh, but there's so much goodness going on. I can't wait to photograph these tonight because now it's like really starting to come alive. And hopefully you guys can kind of see what's happening in here. Matt, are you seeing it, babe? Am I seeing it? Yeah, are you getting oh, what's I going down see, here? I can see what you're doing. Okay. I got it on two different screens and it's six feet away from me. I can see it. <laughs> are, but are you getting it? Uh, sure. Uh, Gavin, Betty on a Facebook said, hello. Gavin says he sees it. Okay. Good. I am glad that you guys are getting it. I, I mean, I, since I see the 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 envision, uh -huh. it's easier for me to to see what you're doing currently. Okay, that makes sense. Because normally you just are like, Dion, what are normally you doing? it just looks like you're just kind of just you know just whistling and just kind of throwing paint on it and having a good time. Well, that's usually what I'm doing, babe. Well, that's true, but and I'm cool with that idea too. But I liked this painting, and I thought, what? kind of inspiration I might need for this piece since I'm redoing it when I liked it so much before but it just didn't work out. Uh Betty, Gavin said hello. We got some crosstalk going on between the books and the tubes tonight. I like it. I like I it. I love it. Wonderful people out there. Okay. The only thing is I'm not wanting so much green to cover up my red down here. So I'm kind of forcing the green down all the way off the piece because I really don't want all the green drips over my orange and corals because I love it so much and I don't want it to disappear. Rob says it's coming alive. I hope so. We've what got to get that, a name What was for that it. movie? It was, it was a comedy of Frankenstein with Gene Wilder. Was it Little Frankenstein? I don't remember, but it was a fantastic movie with Gene Wilder. It was a spoof on Frankenstein. I think that's what it reminds me of when, he, when, that, when I hear somebody say that. It's coming alive. I feel like it's going to take me a, a little bit, but this is going to be a process to build up the flowers um, because there's so many different, uh, different colors. So I started with these deep cherry red colors and then I ended up finishing with it as well. Yes, thank you Diane Johnson, Young Frankenstein. And yes, okay, got several of them. Young Frankenstein, that's good. Young Frankenstein, all right, all right. That was a funny movie, older funny movie. It's when they used to make good movies. Oh, come on. Sometimes they don't make good movies anymore. They're just silly. They're just, they just don't make any sense. And now you sound so old. Within the baby. first 10 minutes, you did, you already know the ending. You know, you sound so old. I'm getting my fluorescent pink and using my number 12. And I'm just going to highlight a few of these stems. I'm going to do this now, even though I'm adding flowers over them. Uh, so they'll peek out underneath. You know, it's weird. Okay. Those two little they're like circles, they're indentions in Where? the in the middle of each side of the door. When every time I, right my, I yes, every when I'm looking at it on the screen, when I when my eyes kind of stop at it and fixate on it, mm -hmm. it looks like a magnifying glass. What? Why? You know how you hold a magnifying glass to some, you know, something, everything around it is is blurred, but that thing is magnifying glass it's concentrated and it's clear yes it's just kind of what it reminds me of hmm. i said you crazy bro Let's see if anybody else sees it's hilarious i love all the subtle lines that you hit and a few minutes later and your kids are crying that's, i think that's she's talking movie. about it no she's talking about a movie uh the movie yeah no. she was not saying you were funny i think she was saying i'm hilarious no she wasn't she was talking about a movie rob right? thank you do you see it too rob because on on i don't see it as much here as live but when i look on the screen it really kind of makes my eyes stop at that one spot now i don't want this total thing to be a total crazy mess i promise 
Uh, once it's dry, we'll be sanding it just a little bit, putting some wax on it, but I really want those flowers to look 3D so they'll be popping off this piece. Okay. Derek says, don't see it, Matt. <laughs> All right, now we're working in with some uh, what I call neon pink. Is that correct? You can I, call it that, babe. Did I say that correctly? I said fluorescent, but when you're not listening. All righty. All right. <laughs> I know. You're reading comments and movie talking, Frankenstein or something, baby. I know. I know. But yeah, I'm adding some subtle highlights. So this can be dry. We'll come back tomorrow do our champagne, do our page review. I don't know if we'll be painting tomorrow or not, but I've got to build all of this color up. I can't just start throwing flowers on here. So I've got to get my, my um, stems on here. Uh, Betty says it shows up more on IG, on the IGs. On the IGs. Mm -hmm. So if you have an account on the IGs, you can, you can pop over to the IG and give it a go. Oh, see what I did there? I did, babe. Did you see that? My Australian was coming out in me. Your Australian side. Yeah, my Australian side. All right. Does anybody have any questions for me at this point? Because I'm, I'm going to need to probably sign off and let all of this dry before we go any further. Oh, it's so pretty. This section down here, right here, Matt? Right here, Matt. Matt. What? I like this. Okay. I yeah. like that section yeah. a lot. It's oh, Eleven Eclectic says it's gorgeous there. Hey, Michelle, she's on all the things. She's got all the devices. Michelle has like a screen that's like, you know, this big. So she pops up all these different things. It's it's pretty fantastic. Um, Karen Brown, what is your plan for the sides of this? I'm going to wrap it. Girl, I'm going to wrap it and do this exact same thing on both sides, which is going to be a chore, but only because this piece is... This piece is 24 inches deep, so it's basically, I feel like I'm doing, you know, an arm, a small arm over here and a small arm over here, and then this whole piece here. So it's a, it's a huge piece. It's a lot of surface area, but um, that's why, and Rob's over there too. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, but that's why I wanted to do this piece also, because I knew I had to be on here for 100 days. So guess what? We have 89 more. 89 more. Um, thank you, Karen. Did I you just say 89? We have 89 more days after this. Oof. Okay, Gavin, do you have, uh, Miss Dion, did yes, you have baby. any inspiration for the canvas that you're using for painting on the furniture? I did not. Did you have any inspiration for the original or is no. what I mean and my question? I know what you mean. I didn't have any inspiration for this at all. Um, let me turn this down. This was just one that I just kind of, I actually put, Put two canvases together. Where's the other one, baby? Oh, two canvases together and then just started painting. And I had them outside for part of it, had them inside, and I was just kind of inspired by the things around me. But that was it. That was my inspiration. And I just, I'm excited to transfer it on to this piece of furniture. But because the surface area is so large, I am fine. Julie B. Hi, sweetheart. I see Marlis is over there too. Some people are popping over to the gram because you can see it differently. Yeah. Um, a lot of this texture is blending in here and I can't wait to get some photographs of this tonight. All of this, when you have the sandy blonde and the bohemian blue and it's mixing over the cherry pick, it's like this. What does that mean? It's like, I'm so excited to show you. Um. <laughs> but I gotta do flowers, but that's gonna dry. What is the name of the painting, Dion? Lisa Dixon would like to know. Lisa, it's Soul Sisters. Um, this is, I have Soul Sisters 1 and 2. Let me show you. So I put them side by side and actually kind of painted them on the, the canvas at the same time. And just had them side by side like that. So Soul Sisters 1 and 2. Um, so these are my inspiration for... You know, and I have, <laughs> I told Matt, I said, I know these, I know, like, I really enjoy these. I really enjoyed this whole series. Um, but I know that with things that are going on right now in the world, that it's hard as an artist not to get hard on down on yourself because I still have them. And 
I know they're, I know I, I feel really proud of them, but, um, you know, it's one of those like for Facebook right now. Thank you, Rob. I didn't even think about turning that off. He said he loves the wind chime, but I, some people it bothers. Um, but no, he said he loves it, but I got to thinking that some people don't like it. I forgot about that. Um, but right now the algorithm and stuff is just so hard that a lot of our posts, a lot of us that do social media, um, we're all recognizing that uh, engagement's down, posting is down, and that's solely because it's harder and harder to see um, what's being posted by your fellow creatives. And so I, you know, put my work out and I'm like, I know it's real. I feel really proud of it. I'm not saying it's really my best work, but I know that I feel really proud of it. So I've told Matt, it's just been kind of hard and I'm having to baby my ego just a little bit because not many people are, are, you know, seeing them. And, um, anyway, it's one of those things. It's, you kind of go like this emotionally as an artist, you pour yourself into something and then not that you need the feedback, but it's always interesting to see the feedback or hear what it is. Hope that that makes sense. But you love the wind chimes too. Good, because it's so steamy in here right now that we, when he went ahead and opened the door back again. Um, anyway, anybody have any questions? Otherwise, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to come back tomorrow ready to show you the cover piece. Um, I know that I painted it a couple of days with you guys online. And then I covered it up and wouldn't show you. Um, I tried something new on it that I haven't done before, so I feel a little bit vulnerable for that. Um, but I also wanted to make it a super special piece. So I created a video that's on YouTube that you'll be able to click uh, when the magazine comes out and you'll be able to hear my story behind the name and where the piece came from. And um, a lot of what's in the magazine is like a clickable link. Like I did a studio tour. I did this, I did that. And so you click the links and it will, it will take you to different places um, and let you see and hear more things. So, um, so true. I have to go search people now to see their stuff. It's true, Llewellyn, like people that I usually see in my feed, they're not coming up. And I just know that it's right now. I know that it's because of the election. Like it actually affects our social media big time. Um, it affects all kinds of things. Um, uh, but anyway, Everyone stay safe and be well. That's right, Betty. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and sign off tonight. Matthew, do you have anything else? Are you going to open the champagne for me tomorrow, Woods? I will try without putting one of our eyes out. We got, we years and years ago, it got dangerous. Like, I remember us being like, woo! You remember, do you don't remember What that? did we do again? Like, woo! <laughs> Thank you for making me do that again. Nope. Thank you for everybody watching. We'll be back tomorrow with the sneaky peek. Yep. Sneaky peek of the cover. It'll be our first reveal and ever. And if you guys want to have some champagne with us, or maybe a little glass of wine, Ooh. or maybe a margarita or two. Or some apple cider. Or That's apple fine. apple cider, water. We'll all cheers. But we're going to gonna celebrate. I'm going to celebrate my girl, Cammie. I'm so super proud of her. She worked into the night, many, many nights, and homeschooling two little girls. Um, and with the crazy schedule, it's just, I'm so proud of her. And um, she's going to, I'm hopefully going to get her on here with me tomorrow as well. And so, um, and then she has a surprise that she doesn't know about, obviously, for tomorrow. Well, um, she's watching this. She's not. She oh. doesn't watch. What's the dress code? Oh, it's jammy <laughs> time. Let me tell you, I may have my lashes on. I'm not going to lie. I may put on lashes. Uh, I may have to set up in here just I'm a little gonna bit. I'm going to get dutied up. You're going to get dutied up? I'm going to get dutied up. You're teasing me. I'm gonna, Are you going to wear cologne? I'm going to shave. First of all, I may even get a haircut. You need not, to buy, I don't have time for a haircut tomorrow. I'm, oh. I'm the haircutter. Yeah, she, she's, my, she's my stylist. Uh, I'll probably put on uh, a nice looking shirt. A nice looking shirt. And probably. Oh, Rob says bow tie it. Lisa, you'll be here. I'll cheers with your coffee. All right, Rob. I will put on the uh, red bow tie for you tomorrow. I'll just have it on with my nice. You're gonna shirt. put on with your t-shirt. My t-shirt, and I'll put on my nice pair, my nicest pair of shorts, and flip flops. <laughs> and flip flops. All right, you guys. I wanted you to see this. This is where we are so far. I know it's hot, messy. I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry. I'm gonna photograph it in some close-ups, um, but we still. It's a work in progress. Hang tight. Don't give up on me completely. Don't unfollow me just yet. He's, he, Lolly is his good socks.
I love you all. Have an awesome Monday, and we will see you tomorrow night, 8.30 Central Time. See you. Bye-bye.